Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Uh, for today's World Rankings Preview, the last of uh, Tier 1 International Rank before about a month takes place tomorrow is the Rugby Championships sort of closes uh, or brings the curtain down on what has been a very interesting addition. Argentina, South Africa playing in a Rugby Championship final whilst uh, the Bledisloe Cup will continue in New Zealand with the All Blacks hosting Australia. They've already retained the Bledisloe Cup, so a bit of a dead rubber really, neither side can win the rugby championship for example australia can't win the blazer cup but a lot of pride on the line and after a very promising performance last weekend joe schmidt will definitely be looking to try and see if his team can build on that and try and get over the line whilst it's going to be a very interesting occasion from the all blacks a hundredth test cap for sam kane peter heronar playing his final game in front of a home crowd so a big occasion over there, not maybe as big as occasion of him at Mbombela, where Emil Etzebet will become the most capped remark of all time as Argentina, for the first time ever, go into a final match of the Rugby Championship whilst in contention to win the trophy. They will have to be, um, hammer the box to be able to win it, but uh, mathematically it is still possible, and that adds a nice sort of flavour to the game. We will be in Nalspreit and bringing you coverage from on the ground. We're going to be there on uh, sort of today at the captain's run, for example. We'll be doing the, the photo, the final track, this press conference. Then tomorrow we'll be going, going around Nelspreet, capturing some of the scenes and stuff like that. And then obviously we have watch alongs throughout the day on Saturday. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 80,000 subscribers this weekend. Become part of the Forever Sports community. Also make sure you smash a like on the video. Now, in terms of the world rankings, it's a frustrating weekend for South Africa because we fell down to number two last weekend after losing to Argentina in Argentina and uh, we cannot regain that number one spot, which means we will go into the end of the year tour as the number two ranked side in the world. Bit of a strategy, isn't it? You know, you lose two games the entire year and you lose that number one spot. Had we beaten um, Ireland in that second test, it would have been a bit harder for us to have lost the spot. But unfortunately, not the case. So uh, the good news, however, is that we can't go down further for second. So we will remain second after this weekend. Now, the reason we can't uh, improve is because there is a 7.47 points difference between ourselves and Argentina before the home waiting is factored in. However, the, the good news, as I said, is that we can't fall from second place because New Zealand is also unable to improve their rating with a victory over Australia because they are 9.38 points better than Australia, again, also before the home waiting is factored in. However, New Zealand can drop down to fourth if they were to lose the second Metis Low Cup match uh, with France going up to third place. Uh, they could also go down as far as fifth if they lose and Argentina go back to back against South Africa, um, although one of them will have to be by 15 points. The All Blacks will either have to lose by 15 points or Argentina will have to win by 15 points, but both those results will have to ha happen for them to go down to fifth place. If Australia do um, to avoid defeat against New Zealand and draw or win, they will jump up to two places. Uh, whilst victory for Argentina will lift them above England into fifth place with France overhauled if they win by more than 15 points. Uh, Argentina could climb to third for the first time since June 2008 if they win by that margin and Australia beat New Zealand. Uh, this would equal their all-time high of third place. Uh, there's also Chile, by the way, out there, Paraguay um, taking on. Chile can go on. Uh, uh, they can't improve their rating with a game against uh, Canada. Uh, sorry, against Chile, uh, against Paraguay, whilst uh, a draw for Chile could uh, drop them down to 23rd. Uh, Canada and Hong Kong potentially moving up. So there are a couple of other games in and around uh, that uh, with with Chile versus Paraguay, but Rugby Championship being sort of the main one. And it's quite frustrating, isn't it, from a certain point of view, as I said, to, to lose one sort of game and lose that number one spot after going back-to-back -back victories against New Zealand. But unfortunately, because New Zealand's a bit further back behind than what they usually potentially are, we didn't gain as much as we could have with those victories against them. So it's funny for this reason, a lot of people don't look at the world rankings. But to be fair, I think, you know, South Africa Island for me, definitely very much a level above the rest. And then you look at a France, New Zealand, England on their day, uh, Argentina on their day, to be fair, the way they're playing, Scotland that they decide to pitch up and the likes. So, yeah, not going to lose our 18 points this weekend, but also can't gain. So, really, it's more about the Bledisloe Cup with regards to sort of the other three teams in the Rugby Championship and where they might end up. And uh, this will obviously then be the final weekend of, of rugby before that alternation series where these rankings will, will drop quite a lot, or change quite a lot, I think, because you've got Ireland taking on New Zealand, for example, South Africa against England, 
So that could be quite a good game. I personally think South Africa potentially should be going three for three at the end of the year tour. But that Ireland New Zealand game, for example, that'll be an interesting one. So these rankings will yet to change quite a lot for the end of the year, despite maybe not seeing that much change this weekend. Before you go, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Um, we'll see you guys uh, all on the channel throughout the weekend for our watch longs as well as our content from Nile Spread. But until then, my name is Steve. I'll see you soon.